Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jewel Brooks and today I'm going to attempt to make turkey cake pops. <laughs> Keyword attempt because I'm not a professional and I've never done this before. Should have probably tried this at least once before but we are just gonna roll with it today. So recently I've been trying to cut out dairy, so I'm gonna try and make these vegan. But I'm not sure how that's gonna go. We're just gonna see. So last night I already prepped them and I made the actual like cake part of it. And so we're just gonna move to that footage quick so you can see what to do or what not to do. Hey guys. So first I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that you're going to need for the cake. I'm using just a regular cake mix. I have red velvet. Then you're going to need almond milk. I just have vanilla almond milk. Next you're going to need an egg replacement, which this is actually not egg replacement because I sent my sister to the grocery store and she got confused, but I had to roll with it. So. Basically, you're going to open up the cake mix and follow the directions on how to make the cake. I guessed on how much you need to use for the egg replacer, just because I wasn't really sure, but you can feel free to Google that so you know how much you need. So it turns out I don't actually need almond milk for this particular cake mix, so I'm using water instead. Now I'm going to mix all of it together. Once it's mixed up, then you want to spray your pan. Once you put the batter into the pan, you want to just cook it for the amount that it says on the box. Okay, so now for the icing. First I have vegetable shortening. Next I have powdered sugar and vanilla extract. So first I just want to measure out a cup of vegetable shortening. Then you're going to want to put two teaspoons of vanilla extract into it. And then you're supposed to cream them together, which here I'm actually showing you me putting all of the powdered sugar in as well, which is three cups, which you're not supposed to do that until you cream the vanilla extract and the shortening together. So I was not paying attention. I just put all of it into one. And here you can see that I just realized I had messed up. So, you're supposed to actually slowly add the powdered sugar in with your other mixture until it kind of makes a frosting consistency. So once your cake is kind of cooled down a little bit, you take a potato masher and start mashing up your cake. And then as you're mashing it up, you want to add a little bit of icing to your mixture just a little bit at a time and mix it all together as you're mashing your cake together. And then you get your fingers into it so that you can really knead it all together. And then you shape them into balls and cover it and put it in the fridge. It doesn't seem as sticky as it was last night. I was a little worried to be honest. So basically, I'm going to make little balls. Now that I've rolled them into balls and they're back in the fridge, I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients for the turkeys. First, we have Ritz crackers, candy corn, vegan chocolate chips, candy eyeballs, heart-shaped sprinkles, and lollipop sticks. So the first thing that we're going to work on is the tails. So we're going to need some crackers and I'm going to need a pan with some wax paper on it. And then we need to melt this chocolate. I'm using a double boiler system to melt my chocolate. Now that my chocolate is melted, I'm going to cover some Ritz crackers in the chocolate. Mm. 
And then before the chocolate hardens, you want to put candy corns on the end to look like feathers. Now I'm going to stick my sticks in just a little bit of chocolate on the end. And then I'm going to stick my cake pop right onto it like that. Gentle jewel. You want to go out? Come on, you. Come on. I stuck my cake pops in the fridge to help kind of reinforce the chocolate a little bit. And I just melted some more chocolate. And so now I am going to coat the cake pops. It didn't want to stay on the stick. is falling apart. This isn't good. Why are you doing this to me? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Oh. Hmm. Well, we'll just pretend like that didn't happen. Okay. So I'm gonna take my first cake pop and I'm gonna cover it in chocolate. <laughs> So I cut the tips of candy corn off to make little beaks. So we're gonna put a little beak on him, two little candy eyeballs, and then I'm gonna take a little candy heart and give him a little gobble. I think the beak's kind of not sticking very well. Stay up. Stay up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is take one of your crackers, which I stuck mine in the freezer to harden quicker, just like this, and stick it to the back of it, just like that. How cute is that? Now, I'm thinking that I'm gonna set this back here on that, and hopefully it'll harden when I put it back in the fridge. My turkeys are made, and so now I'm gonna stick them back in the fridge and hope they harden. So, fingers crossed. I pulled them out of the fridge, and, well, this is, seems a little heavy, but, oh my gosh, it's actually kind of staying on, sort of. Look at that, look how cute he is. I don't know, if, oh, look at that, it is gonna focus. Look how cute he is! Oh my goodness! Gobble, gobble, gobble! <laughs> wow! This turned out way better than I thought! Oh, look how cute they are! This is so much fun! <laughs> cool! Wow! That turned out way better than I thought! So, after you're all done, you can put them like in a mason jar and kind of display them. Or you could use styrofoam or anything else you want to display your cake pops in. I can't see what you're doing, but I totally can tell what you're doing. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. They actually turned out better than I thought. I'm kind of excited because they're kind of cute actually. So comment down below what you're thankful for this year and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>